Hey everybody, it's Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I have a jewelry jar, yes, a jewelry jar, from a while back, and I will explain why you do not see a jar. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I am a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay and Etsy and other places to help support my family, and I've been doing a lot of jewelry unboxings. This is a jewelry jar that I got before we moved here to Austin and what we did was we transferred all the jars that I bought into bags so that the jars wouldn't break and I had one of my kids sit and witness to make sure I didn't peek or go through them or anything like that because just because anyway uh, this was a jar that I got for $6.99 so I peeled the price tag off the jar stuck it on the bag and that way I could move them without you know them cracking and breaking so luckily I still have a few of these that I can unbox for y'all now that I can't get out and get new things I am definitely still on the hunt for thread out boxes I know Goodwill blue boxes aren't available right now but I am still trying to get new jewelry to unbox for you guys but let's open this one up $6.99 this is a Goodwill sticker so must have been from before I moved. It's not a giant one, but it's got some cool stuff in it. And it feels like I, it feels new to me because it's been so long since I opened the tub that has these in them, in there. Thought we could mix it up a little bit. Okay. So first up is this wraparound, probably bracelet with a leather strap and this blingy cross. It's in really good condition. But I will probably put this in a lot. I sell uh, craft mix wear repair lots. And uh, yeah, so that's going to go in the lot. I sell those to viewers. So I, I get messages every now and then. Where are those lots? I, I just sell them when people email me. <laughs> email me. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. That's going to be a doozy. y'all this is where we start singing the gambler you got to know when to hold them know when to fold them know when to walk away know when to run you don't need tangle necklaces that you're gonna put in a craft lot these are gonna go to a craft lot uh they are the, this one in particular looks really nice and sellable but it is so far in this one i cannot get it out at all I can't. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to be putting this in a craft lot. Unless I can, is there some way I can get it off? I know what I can do. I am going to unhook one and then rehook it all back on together. <gasps> Look, because then the other ones, I don't care. I am going to re, I'm going to unhook this necklace. Effectively just break it for a second. Because it doesn't have a clasp. 
there. Look, look, look. Oh my gosh, I am so smart. SMRT. Ha <laughs> ha. Good heavens. All right, and then I'll put this one back together. You, there's two necklaces here. That's going to a craft lot. Somebody else who loves the, the, the detangling way more than I do is going to love to have fun with that one. But <laughs> it's not for me. This one, however, even though it sounds really tinny, um, it's pretty cool. I love the green. I like all the different colors. So this is something that I will sell. Cool. We've got some earrings here. These I'm going to put into a craft lot. I mean, they're cool. They'll, you know, they're wearable, sellable, but I don't think I would list them. Same thing with this necklace. It looks like it's missing its shark tooth. That will go to a craft lot. This is cute. It's like a little, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it goes around a neck. It's really small. Oh gosh, here we go. What now? I don't know about that. It's cute. But yeah, again, oh no, it's some, this is cut off, that's why. So this is gonna go to a craft lot too. I've got a few other things here that'll go to a craft lot. This was, I mean, this necklace is okay. And I guess it's probably sellable and everything, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a, a lot as well. So all of those. I had quite a few earrings. These ones are actually pretty cool. There's two pairs that are like this, that I, I think they're fun. I can get one here. Let me grab one that's not already tangled up. This is like the tangliest box. So they look like this. I love this like lime, limey yellow, bright, bright yellow. Anyway, there's two pairs of those. I think I'll I'll try to list those. Those are pretty pretty bright. Somebody's gonna want something bright and shiny like that. All right, so this one is broken for the moment, but the jump ring is still there, so I can fix that. And these are some some earrings that I will also sell. I just think they're really unique. So those will get sold. And there's a few earrings over here that are missing mates. Let's see. These are kind of fun. These little heart leaf ones. I may try to sell those. We'll see. They might go to a lot, but I like them. And then here's Tinkerbell. I will try to sell Tink because people really like Tinkerbell. So I don't think they'll go for that much, but I think they could still sell. And then we've got a Banana Republic necklace here. I will probably try to sell this Banana Republic necklace. Even though it's pretty simple, I know that there are people that like that brand and somebody might want a, just like a minimalist little necklace like this. It's not magnetic, but I don't think it's silver. It's probably just stainless steel or something like that. Okay, this I will sell. Okay, so that lot had a bunch of stuff going into a lot. So there are some hematite, these are magnetic beads. This is one of these type, is this sellable? I mean, do people buy these? It's kind of like a charm bracelet, it says best friends. And it's got, uh, I don't know, Jägermeister, that's going to a lot, a lot, lot. These little earrings, these are some dichroic glass earrings but hmm I don't know maybe I'll try to sell them we'll see they're cute yeah they're cute this bracelet I really like this I I don't see a maker's mark on it Ooh, it's in pretty good shape I might look it up because it's uh I don't know ah do things like this sell I gotta go look because I don't uh, maybe it looks in good shape. I'll look it up. Then this beaded necklace, this one's pretty cool. It looks like, almost like coral, you know, all around. It's just a seed bead red necklace with these coral looking <laughs> charms. I don't know, like hang offs, hangings on it. So this I will try to sell too. And then this looks like it's probably a little silver bracelet, which is nice. Let's zoom it in. Yeah, this looks like it's probably a nice little silver bracelet. Looks like Italy, 925 on this side, 925 over here. The clasp is marked. They went to town with their marks. It is not magnetic. Yeah, so I will likely try to sell this. It's in really nice shape. It's really cute. It's not just like a plain old chain. It's got a nice look to it. I'm sure there's a name to this. I'll have to go look it up because I don't have all the chains memorized. Yay! 
There are some solo earrings in here that I'm waiting to see if we have a mate for. If not, I'll show you those at the end. I had to pull a couple of bracelets out of my lot because I got another one that looks like they all match up so I might try to sell these little cream stacking bracelets there might be some more in my bag I'll have to take a peek in just a second to find out but I think I could lot those up I don't think they'll sell for a ton but they're cute these ones will go to a lot it's missing a stone all right these are really pretty I love these blue and gold earrings they are really, really, really pretty. Anyway, I think these are really pretty. I think these would definitely sell. Someone would like this gold tone and blue, almost like peacockish. So yeah, I'll sell those. A few others, like the, I, I think I have some earrings very similar to these with some green stones, personally. So those ones, I don't know, the, hoop, the, the hooks are kinda eh. So I'll probably put those into a lot. These will go to a lot as well. I mean, again, wearable, sellable, but I know me. These remind me of DNA. <laughs> so I think I'm going to sell these just because they're so different and they remind me of DNA. All right, next up are these earrings that, you know, they're probably homemade, just like some of these other ones. And there may be a dime a dozen. I'll have to look them up. But I think they're cute enough that somebody might like them. So I'll find out. I think I'm going to try to sell them though. And then next I got these little screw back earrings with these cute little flowers. I will probably put these into a lot. I don't have a ton of luck selling screw back or clip on earrings anymore. I don't know. Maybe they'll come back into fashion. But I will probably just put these into a lot. And these I will sell with these cool cobalt blue stones or glass piece right there. Those are fun. I will sell these. And these, I'm going to have to reshape that one, but these ones I will sell as well. They're really tribal looking. Looks like we've got some bone here, possibly. Yeah, it looks like either bone or shell. I think it's some bone. And then some, some little amber colored glass. So those are cool. I'm pretty sure there's that kind of nut. Maybe it's that. What's oh, what's it called? Is it puka nut? I want to say it. No, that's not right. Okay, somebody will help me with that. If that, I don't think that's bone. I think it's some something else. <laughs> all right, I'll talk. Um, yeah, I'll uh, keep going on here. Okay, these. All right, these ones are nice, y'all. Nice. These are silver. They say something on the back that I can't read. Can I get a what what from my people that need peepers? I need some peepers. <laughs> They're upside down. No wonder you can't read it. <laughs> so this says, it says H-O-B and then Mexico at 925. H-O-B. I'm going to have to look into that. H-O-B. Now these ones may be catch and release. I may... I like these so much. I might just have to try to keep them and wear them. I really, really like these. I will let you know if I decide to sell them. But at the moment, I think they're gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous! So these earrings are gorgeous, and I know I was just saying, I don't really sell that much clip-on. These are Weiss, and this is a really good costume jewelry brand. So these ones I will definitely hang on to, to sell, because they're this like starburst, flower, you know, spiral, almost like a, not exactly a spiral, but they're kind of spiraling around pattern. So these I will definitely try to sell. Weiss is a really good name to uh, keep in mind. Keep on track of. Now look at these. These are darling. They are these little cloisonne kind of enamel earrings. They almost look like Brighton. Let me f try to get the back off of them. Backs don't want to come off. Why? Why you want to be like that? There. Whew. 
Okay, so I don't see a mark on the back of these, but they definitely have that brightened look. Let me flip it over again. Those are so cute. I love them. Cute little blue and white. Kind of not, not exactly white, light blue. Shades of blue, enamel. Those ones I will sell. These are some other clip-ons that I will just put in a lot, I think. No maker's mark. I mean, they seem all right, but meh. I like these ones a lot. These ones are pretty. Um, oh dear, would I sell them though? That's the question. Decisions, decisions. I think I will. I'm gonna try to sell them. There's like seafoam green and, and gold. I'm gonna try to sell those. Those are pretty. Next are these kind of little, I wanna almost call them chandelier, but they're not quite. They just have these kind of blingy beads hanging down. I mean, they're pretty. I don't see any maker's mark on back. I'll have to pull some backs for them, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to sell these. I'm going to have to remember that, what is this called? It's like a cluster, right? They would call that a cluster, like a cluster of grapes. It's a cluster of faceted plastic beads. <laughs> to bedazzle and wow them at the Met Gala. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'll go ahead and try to sell those. Now, talk about dazzle, my darlings. Oh, these are dazzling. Again, clip-ons, I'm having to eat my words right now. Bonus hair, let's get rid of that. I've got a lot of bonus hair. Ooh, I see maker's mark. These are beautiful. And there's a maker's mark. Thelma, Thelma Dutch, Deutsch, it's spelled. And the mark is not on the other one, which is interesting. So that's those ones. When I'm looking up at the camera, it looks almost yellow, but they're, the stones are like AB, like Aurora Borealis. They change colors. They're more silvery in my hands. I'm gonna look up Thelma Dutch. It's not spelled Dutch Dutch, it's spelled like D, like Deutsch. Oh, oh, okay. So this brand, I'm looking at just some that are up right now. <clears throat> Not even this same exact one, but I see some for $88, 52, 125, 149. Yeah, I'm seeing quite a few that are really pricey. So I can honestly say I will sell these. And these ones, I think look more spectacular than any of the ones I see that are up for sale. Well, I can honestly say I'll probably be listing these over a hundred dollars because of what I see on there. And I think they are spectacular. These I will put into a lot. These are some other clip-ons. These will go to a lot as well. Hmm, I'm on the fence about these. I could see someone liking these. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try to sell these. I'm gonna look them up. But it's time to release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. We have got some octopus, oh, octopi earrings. Aren't they adorable? They're awesome. And they are marked on the back WB. So, and they're not marked silver, but I'm fairly, well, no, maybe they're not silver. Interesting. Try again. How about that? I would have thought for sure they were silver. I may test them anyway, because maybe this is one of those times that it's they're silver and they're magnetic, but that's maybe just wishful thinking. I think they're awesome and will sell anyway, because they're octopus. Octopi? Octopi. I will also sell these adorable dragonfly earrings. My light is being super weird today, y'all. So these little gold tone earrings, I know they're probably just, you know, you could buy this stuff to make these at Michael's or whatever, but I think they're cute and I'm gonna try to sell them. What do we think, silver or not? They look like they might be. Let's go in for a closer look. Eh, probably not, because I saw some kind of greenish around in this area. But uh, again, I, I just have wishful thinking today. I guess I'm wishing for things to be silver. So, I don't know, I might test them just for fun, just to show what something that's not silver tests as. All right, I like these earrings too. They're gold tone, they're peridot, peridot colored like teardrops here. So these are some that I think I will, they might be catch and release. I'm gonna try these on, I like these. Then we've got this bracelet. This is interesting. Oh, look at that. 
more and more interesting. So it looked like originally it was just like this kind of like black enamel, pretty scuffed up looking, but then I thought the inside really looks like silver. It, it's missing a safety chain. And then as I turned it on the bottom part, yeah, 750, but then it's got this really awesome carving and it looks, yeah, it's got some inlaid little pearls in there. That is awesome. It is missing one little pearl right there. But how amazing is that? I, I love it anyway. Just think, I mean, think about how old this is. That's really cool. So I think I might still try to sell it just because of the age and because of the, I've never seen anything like it. I just love it. So I'm gonna do a little research on that. And these pearls, come on. That's so cool. All right, I'm not sure where it stopped recording, but it stopped for a moment. Anyway, these earrings are pretty cool. I will probably try to sell these. Very nice. I've got some kind of amber, honey-colored clip-ons. And these ones, even though <laughs> I'm having to eat my words a lot here, I think I might try to sell these clip-ons. I think these are pretty nice. These silver tone earrings might end up in a lot. Look at the size of the back of that one. I mean, that's huge. What? That's huge. Yep. Okay, so those will go into a lot. These ones look like they're probably silver. Huh. I got a lot of wishful thinking today. Hmm. I might try to sell these. I think they're interesting. They still look like silver to me. Okay, these are marked 925, so I'm gonna set, I'm gonna test these. This may be one of those times where the the other part of the metal is something magnetic. So I'm gonna put these in my test pile, and I do have a video coming up where I'm gonna be testing different things that I've been saying forever. I'm gonna put this in my pile. So that video is coming, so stay tuned. And going with our nautical theme, we've got some sweet little starfish or sea star earrings. Again, these ones also look like they're probably silver. So I will sell these. Um, I think I'm just gonna put these into a lot. Yeah, these ones will go to a lot. Look at the bling on these. These ones look like they could be Swarovski. I'm gonna look. Swarovski uh, has like a, a swan. I see something on the side over here. It's a CC, CC, and then 925. Uh, so maybe cubic construction. No, that would be CZ. <laughs> Again, like into reading a little bit into stuff. CC. All right, so I'm gonna have to look up the CC 925. But look at the bling on those. They are very blingy. Cool. And then these ones, they have, you know, this emerald cut, emerald looking stones, but they are certainly not real, but they're still really pretty. Um, yeah, maybe I'll try to sell them. I mean, they wouldn't sell for a ton, but they're really pretty. And then we've got a black and a what? I think they're supposed to be like this, but I'm going to put these into a lot. So this will go to a lot as well. It's a wraparound snap on bracelet. And I can't believe it, this is maybe a record. All of the earrings had mates. Wow, that's amazing. These will go to a lot as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite thing was. I am torn between this bracelet and this the Kraken earrings. I mean, these earrings, come on, these earrings? We had a lot of bling in this one. A lot of awesome in, awesome in bling, awesome blossoms. I don't even know, y'all. I can't even talk. Can't even talk right now. But I hope you guys are having a delightful quarantine I don't know and uh yeah let me know how you're doing and I will see you on the next one bye everybody mm -hmm.